hey guys welcome back to my channel i am kayla here with usually locks by kayla but we've transitioned over to a lifestyle vlog so this video is a follow-up for this video is a follow-up from last week's video on our peanut harvest which if you didn't watch you can find on the top right hand corner of this video but today I'm going to be showing you how to make roasted I'm going to be showing you how to make southern Cajun boiled peanuts so it dawned on me as I was creating my last video that a lot of people that aren't from the south don't know how to make boiled peanuts or have never had them. So I'm going to show you guys all of the steps, including harvest, <laughs> and how you make boiled peanuts. So here we go. I have my crock pot ready. It is on the high setting. I haven't put any water in it. I'm just letting it heat up for now. But I definitely like to do it in a crock pot because it's a lot less maintenance. Um, you don't have to watch the pot boil. But if you don't have a crock pot, you can do this method um, or you can boil peanuts in a regular um, soup pot. It's just a lot more time consuming because you have to check it more frequently and um, you can't just put everything in there at once. You have to wait for the peanuts to boil, let more, fill it up with more water. Um, and then once that water drains off a little bit, add a little bit more and then season it. With this method, you literally put the salt, um, put the, all the ingredients in at one time, it all cooks up. So I'm gonna be doing with, with the crock pot. This is a Hamilton Beach crock pot. It's like $20 at Walmart. So definitely get you a crock pot if you're gonna wanna do this more than once after you like. Um, try it out and see if you like it, get a crock pot. I also wanted to show you guys how much peanuts we actually ended up using versus what we didn't end up using. And that's not even half. There's so many still on there that were either rotted out, had holes in them. As you can see, there's a lot of moldy ones um, or a lot of just contaminated ones that, you know, that weren't viable. But the good part about this is we'll get to put those peanuts in the ground next season and have another abundant harvest of peanuts. So everything around here is sustainable recycled reused if they weren't going in the ground for harvest they'll be going in the compost which this will be going in the compost so yeah okay guys so the first thing i'm gonna do is run some very hot water over these peanuts to make sure that any bugs that are in here number one die from the heat and number two, I'm going to put a lot of white vinegar in there and just let them soak to clean them off. So I've added about a cup of vinegar to this batch of peanuts and I filled up the bucket um, as far as it could go with water to make sure that they're able to all be submerged in the water. But pro tip, it's much easier to do this with the peanuts being in a strainer. So once she, all the bugs have been done away with you can just immediately go to your sink and spray off the peanuts because they do have dirt on them um, they do come from the ground if you've gotten these from the store you won't have to worry about the dirt too much um, but I still do this method whether they're store-bought or harvested from the ground because uh, they all get here the same way and they typically don't clean them even when you buy them from the store so all right, I got my peanuts all uh, soaked off. Look at this water. And this is the second batch of water that I made. The first batch was like dirt, dirt. This is just like gunk. Um, I want to see if I can see any bugs in it. They're always so small, it's hard to tell. But um, yeah, you don't want that <laughs> in your crock pot to eat. So make sure y'all are cleaning y'all peanuts as you heard it was like it's literally dirt at the bottom of this dish y'all heard it just now when i was stirring it up so wash your peanuts please so the harvest was so large i actually cut it in half when i went to 
spray it out just so I can make sure that they were thoroughly rinsed. So look at the difference though. Like your peanuts should look like this. Clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these. This is a lot of peanuts. I'm going to fill this up with water. Clean drinking water because you are soaking these. Okay. And then take some sea salt. And these take a lot of salt, guys. Do not fret. You usually don't taste all of the salt. It's just to soften up the peanut. down in the water and some oil I like to use grape seed some people use olive um, I don't cook olive oil um, I'm not even gonna get into why that's a whole nother video but I am gonna put a lot of grape seed oil to also help soften up the peanuts and help them cook faster so I'll be using crushed red pepper oh, garlic powder fennel and I think I'm going to stop there oh and chili powder. I'm also going to add some fresh garlic in there and a couple of my peppers from out of the garden. So I never measure anything. I always season to taste. Um, you can do as much as you like or as little as you like. But as for the garlic, I love garlic. So I'll put a good amount of those in there. even put more than that I think I will red pepper flakes a good amount of red pepper flakes so I like it spicy chili powder fennel some pepper so yeah I grew these peppers in the garden they're actually cayenne but I didn't allow them to turn red only one of them turned red so I'll add that one in there that's so cute I'll leave it like that and just give it a good mix up nice steam and yeah I'll probably leave this on for like another three hours just so it really gets soft I like my peanuts very very soft that's also when all of the seasoning really soaks in okay they're all seasoned and ready to sit. Look at that. It looks beautiful. I'll be back. Okay, guys. It has been 22 hours on these peanuts camera got it on fog and they are finally done so 
<laughs> are they is the right question so let's let's get a sample and make sure but look at that juice guys look at that oh damn you can't because it's so hot <laughs> okay yeah just look at that mm -mm -mm. all right i'm gonna take one out let's let's give it a taste test wow that's really hot okay still seems kind of hard mm -mm. it's soft mm. yeah that's good all right guys so definitely wasn't what i thought like i said if you cook it in a pot it will go much quicker but if you cook it in a crock pot you can turn it on and forget about it which i did every time i left from filming so um it's a passive snack but it's not a snack that if you're in a hurry you can eat right away um but this is a lot of peanuts so it'll last us quite some time um and they're freaking delicious and high in protein so great southern snack that is my recipe i will put the whole recipe in the description um because i know this video is kind of hectic <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching comment below if you guys decide to make some boiled peanuts i just recently found out that most people up north don't even know what this is or haven't even had this before so do yourself a favor get you some boiled peanuts or get you some raw peanuts and make this delicious snack see you guys next week